Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your 30th tutorial on jQuery. And in this tutorial, we are going to uh, set up our own web server. <laughs> well, it sounds tricky and complicated, but it's not. And the reason why, you need a web server to work with Ajax. Surprise, huh? Because, uh, you know, Ajax means uh, communication with the server. So you want to send a request to a server, and um, well, before I assume you guys had your uh, tutorials stored locally, like like I had as well, just in your computer in a folder, and you, you just ran them. But now we want to access the files in um, on the on the server, and because you, you cannot access um, files stored locally using JavaScript on your computer, because of the security uh, reasons and stuff, so we, you want to you want to have a web server set up in order to uh, program Ajax. And what I have, uh, I have a, a great solution for it. I, I'm running a local host, uh, just a local Apache on my computer, and I have this XAMPP tools. And XAMPP is a is a very very good thing. So um, let's just go ahead and uh, Google for XAMPP and click the first result, which is ApacheFriends.org. I make sure I go to the English version of this website. So XAMPP provides you um, uh, an, an, a real Apache server running on your computer locally. And it's, it's a, it is a great thing for uh, web developers when you're like developing somewhere outside and if you don't have any, any internet connection, you can uh, still um, do everything and uh, the XAMPP works like a real web server. You can actually host your projects using XAMPP. Well, you don't want to do that. Well, it's because it's not a, I mean, it's not a real hosting, but uh, you can actually use XAMPP for hosting your projects and use a, your computer as a server. But, uh, and it's also free. So, uh, so what you guys have to do now, just pick your uh, version for your operating system and download XAMPP and then please set it up. And when you set it up, uh, you have to have a folder called htdocs. I'll just have it right here. htdocs is a standard Apache folder where you put your files. In our case, you just put that uh, the files from our tutorial, this all this all this uh, folders, uh, except the video folder because the video folder is mine, where I just store my videos. Well, doesn't matter. So you, you have to just copy all this contents of the previous tutorial into this um, htdocs htdocs folder. Well, I have a link called web, so this is where I store it. And when I go to, uh, when I just type localhost in my browser and press enter, uh, the server, uh, the server, this server just displays me our page we created because uh, I called it index.html, and index.html is a, is a standard name for um, a web page so that it appears right away when you just type localhost or you can you, you can uh, you can have a, a different name for uh, your index uh, HTML and for your HTML document because you can access it like this just localhost slash and the, the the file name all right so now I talked a lot and we explained you a lot and now let's just go ahead and write our first line of uh, Ajax code so um, we are going to use a function called get, and this get function takes the following parameters, which is the path. I'll just type path as, a, as an example. And then it takes a parameter called function and with the parameter data. Then you need um, curly brackets and uh, normal brackets and uh, semicolon, like as usual. All right, and uh, within this uh, function function <laughs> with the parameter of data, you, can, you, you will uh, type your uh, code. So, and now what it does, it uh, access, accesses the file um, following this path and this data parameter is the parameter which is which gets returned from the server. So, th this data variable will basically store the server's, the server's response and in this case we are just asking the server to provide us the contents of this file uh, which is stored under this path. All right, uh, now time is up, unfortunately, and uh, we won't make it in this tutorial anymore to test and to uh, to program our Ajax function. But now I explained you uh, the simple get function. So we grab the file path, 
we get this data as a result and then we can do something with this result for example we can uh, display it on the page and we will do it in the 31st tutorial so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next tutorial Oh